Headed into their series with Cleveland, the Knicks were considered the underdog. Nearly all of ESPN's so-called experts had the Cavs winning the series. Yet, lo and behold, the Knicks have taken a commanding 3-1 lead. And according to Land of Basketball, teams that go up 3-1 in a series go on to win that series 95% of the time. So while the Cavs do still have a chance, they're more than likely going to get sent home packing. And the crazy thing is the Knicks have done this, while their scoring leader Julius Randle has struggled mightily in this series. So how are the Knicks breaking the Cavaliers? Let's break it down. For starters, the Knicks have dominated the Cavs defensively. In this series, they're holding Cleveland to just 94 points per game way below the 111 points per game that they averaged in the regular season. And a huge reason why is that they're completely exploiting Cleveland's lack of shooting outside their backcourt. In this series, we're seeing the Knicks sag off of Cleveland's poor shooters and force Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell to either take tough shots over multiple defenders in the paint or pass it out to their bricklayers. And so far, Cleveland has been completely unable to punish the Knicks for defending them in this way. Outside of their starting backcourt, nobody on Cleveland is shooting above 31% from deep in this series. With Cleveland unable to hit perimeter shots, this makes them a lot easier to defend. Donovan Mitchell dominated the first three games of this series, but the Knicks did a great job of containing him in game four. In a critical game where Donovan Mitchell had the chance to break the hearts of his hometown team in front of the fans at MSG, he came up really small, scoring just 11 points on 5 of 18 shooting. And it wasn't just Donovan Mitchell missing open shots. The Knicks perimeter defenders like Josh Hart and even Deuce McBride did a great job of hounding him and not letting him get anything easy. While Donovan Mitchell struggled the entire game, Jalen Brunson took over, dropping 29 points, 6 boards, and 6 assists. Throughout this series, Cleveland has tried putting multiple defenders on Jalen Brunson, and he's just cooked everybody that Cleveland has put in front of him. His combination of shooting, handles, craftiness, and footwork just make him unguardable in isolation. And in order to contain him, the Cavaliers have tried doubling Jalen Brunson out of pick and rolls, but he's just done a great job of getting rid of the ball quickly, which has led to high quality looks for his teammates. For the second year in a row, Jalen Brunson is about to send Donovan Mitchell on an early vacation. Brunson has been great, but the Knicks are getting a huge spark from RJ Baird. With Julius Randle MIA nearly this entire series, the Knicks have needed someone else to step up, and RJ Baird has raised his level of play to an all-star level. He had 19 points in Game 3, and he absolutely delivered in this pivotal Game 4 with 26 points. RJ still has many weaknesses in his game. That three-point shooting ain't it. He missed all six of his three-pointers in game four, but one thing about RJ, he could get downhill and he could get to the free throw line, and he did plenty of that in game four. And not only was he scoring really well, but RJ made great decisions when he got into the paint in terms of kicking the ball out and finding the open man. RJ Barrett may have struggled in those first couple of games in Cleveland, but he's thrived in these two games in New York, and he's showing why many fans still believe in his upside. Jalen Brunson's Villanova brother, Josh Hart, has also been huge. Ever since the Knicks traded for him, he's just raised the team to a completely different level, and that's carried over into these playoffs. He was huge in game one when he had 17 points. Unfortunately, he suffered an ankle injury, and he was quiet in game two, but then he had 13 points in game three, and he had 19 points in game four. And not only was he scoring, but he was also playing his usual great defense while also crashing the glass. Josh Hart's all-around contributions are invaluable to this New York Knicks team. And lastly, I'm going to mention that the Knicks have physically outmatched Cleveland. A key stat is the fact that the Knicks have out-rebounded the Cavaliers in three out of these four playoff games, and a lot of that credit has to go to Mitchell Robinson. His size, his strength, and his hustle makes him incredibly difficult to keep off the offensive glass, and he's created a ton of extra possessions for the Knicks. But we also have to give a lot of credit to Josh Hart and Isaiah Hartenstein because they've also been great on the boards. 
Even though the Cavaliers were the number one defensive team in the regular season, the Knicks have clearly been the more physical team in this playoff series, and it's a huge reason why they're up 3-1. The Knicks went into this series as the underdog, but now they're just one win away from eliminating the Cavs and getting to the second round. And what's crazy is that they're not even firing on all cylinders. Julius Randle, who averaged 25 points per game in the regular series, has yet to find his rhythm yet in this series. And once he gets it going, that's going to make the Knicks even more dangerous. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Now I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of the Game 4 win? And what do you think of how the Knicks have played in this series? Tell me in the comments. Guys, I'm going to continue to talk about the Knicks and this playoff series and other playoff series as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dope content just like it, please drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have an amazing rest of your day, guys.